Hey everybody, Alex here, and today we're talking about an annoyance that I have currently, right now, and I thought, why not make a video about it? iPhone versus Android. That's what we're talking about today, guys. And the price comparisons and the fact that the entire internet apparently thinks that it's an unbelievably expensive price for an iPhone being $1,000. So, um... I have a very old Android. This is my first touch screen smartphone. It's an uh, HTC Wildfire. It was my first one many years ago. I don't know how long ago now. It was a while ago. Um, then I updated to a, an iPhone 3GS because I played with a lot of people's iPhones and I preferred iPhone over Android. Personal preference, I preferred all of the fanciness that iPhone had versus all the fanciness that Android had. I didn't like the whole customization and all that. I wanted something easy, sleek, something that was like, it was what it was meant to do, basically. Where Android had so many different customizations, so many different settings, and I didn't like that. So I prefer iPhone. But in saying that, this isn't about what I prefer. This is about the fact that the internet is blowing up about the fact that Apple is more than Android and how dare they and how dare they sell out outdated products or some shit So I did a little bit of research on the internet today the the what date is it? It's the 27th of September today. So these prices are as of today the 27th um, I did a little research from Best Buys in America online and JB Hi-Fi on the internet, which is an Australian company Oh, at least I think it is. It's, it, it's an Australian store. Anyway, so um, I'm going to hopefully put text somewhere as I'm saying this so you guys can get a visual on what I'm talking about. But uh, we're going to start with um, price comparisons from Best Buys. Now, I'm going off the Samsung Galaxy S8 64GB and the iPhone 8 64GB and also 256GB. They're the two phones I'm comparing right now because they are the two, like, modern, high-end, whatever one wants kind of phones that people seem to be complaining about. Now, the Samsung S8 from Best Buys is $749.99, whereas the uh, iPhone 8 64 gig is $799. It, it's like close to the same price, guys. Like. You're paying slightly difference. Um, that's in America from Best Buys. In Australia, where I'm from, guys, I'm from Australia, if you didn't work that out. Uh, JB Hi-Fi has a Samsung Galaxy S8 64 gig for $1,199. That's right. We're paying $1,000 for a Samsung phone. Currently, like as of today, if I went in to buy it outright, which is what all this is, none of that planned bullshit, that's how much it is. Whereas the iPhone 60, or iPhone 8 64 gig is $1,079. So currently right now between the Galaxy S8 and the iPhone 8, the iPhone is cheaper. There you go, internet. Blow that up. Anyway, um, the 256 gigabyte iPhone is $1,329. So you're paying a little bit more to get more memory and all that. I know Samsung has expandable memory and whatever else. But I don't understand why the internet is blowing up saying that Samsung and Apple, like why is Apple $1,000? I understand that in America, and I've actually got price comparisons here. In America, you guys are paying $749 for your Samsung Galaxy S8 whereas if you were to buy that in Australia from that price converted over to Australian Australian you're paying $952.15 according to Google's conversion price thing if you want to buy an iPhone in uh, America for $799 and convert it to Australian you're paying $1015 I don't understand guys that's, that's the point of this video is trying hopefully maybe people out there can comment and say why they got a problem with the phone being a thousand dollars 
The only thing I can work out recently from reading comments is the people complaining are not able to afford it. And they're complaining because of that, because they don't have the thousand dollars to fork out for the latest and greatest iPhone. And so they have to call people sheep and, and whatever else they call people. Anyway, um, the Australian conversion, like we can convert it back the other way. If you're paying 1,199 for a Samsung Galaxy S8, 64 gig in Australia from JB Hi-Fi. If you wanted to convert that down to American, you're paying 944. So like you're still paying the same basic price. It's a lot if you want to call it a lot. Otherwise it's the standard price for a new phone. That's a high end, decent quality phone. I almost dropped mine. So for the iPhone 8, 64 gig, uh, 1079 is to 849 dollars American guys, and 1329 dollars is to 1046 in America. Now that is the price comparisons back and forth from America to Australia and Australia to America. Just thought I'd put that out there so you guys can all get an idea of what's what in comparisons instead of just bitching about it, which is what I'm doing right now because I can. Why the fuck not? Also, it's late. I also, because I posted on the internet on uh, some person's post about this problem, and I put up these different prices stating, you know, in Australia, we're paying a thousand dollars plus for a phone. Samsung, Android, whatever. That's the price we're paying. Uh, apparently, they're saying I'm wrong and that they're talking about the X. So I, I went along and I got a little bit of a comparison between the prices of the Australian uh, iPhone 10 from Apple Australia and Apple America, because they're the only real websites that have like all of the information. In Australia, for the iPhone 10, it's 1,579. So yes, you're going, oh fuck, that's a lot. But at the same time, no, iPhone 6S was like 1,300 when it first came out. So, and that was for the 64 gig. The 256 gig is 1,829, so you're almost at $2,000 by the time you get screen covers and protective things and, and whatever else you need when you buy it. So, two, almost $2,000, but that is for like a lot of memory. So, I only stick with the 64 gig. It's, you unload it when you need to. Anyway, uh, and on the American website, it is uh, 999, which is the problem everyone seems to be having, uh, or 1,149 for the 256 gig. So, and that's through AT and T. I, I picked them because I didn't know what else to pick. In saying the pricing of uh, 1,579 in Australia. In Australia, currently, the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 64 gig, which was counted on the JB Hi-Fi's website, which I'll link down below as new, um, it is $1,499. And Best Buy's for the same phone, the, the Galaxy Note 8, is $949. So, looking at these prices, if you're going for a phone, in the 800 plus range and you're complaining that it's expensive you shouldn't be looking for a phone <laughs> honestly uh if you you can't fully afford something like that and you're complaining about the price then go for one of those cheaper phones that you can afford or save up or get like one of those plan credit things i don't know what you call it around the world but anyway but that's my rant guys that's my price comparisons of the research I've done today because why the fuck not? Um, I'm just making this video because I'm pissed off with all these posts and these people saying that it's horrible and overly expensive for something that's outdated or whatever. And honestly, what, you jealous that you can't have an iPhone? Are you pissed off that Apple's doing good with its own people and Android, what, has to try and be superior? Something like that is similar to the whole Xbox, PlayStation, and in what, PC Master Race bullshit. A phone is a phone is a phone. It, it, it makes a call, it makes a text. You can access all the apps you need, like like Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and people like that Snapchatty thing. It's got photos, did I mention that? It, it's touch screen. 
it records videos in really good quality. Pretty much all the high-end ones do that these days. Uh, what else do you need it to do? It comes down to your personal preference. If you like Apple, you like the way they lay out what they do, you like the fanciness, you like the other random bullshit that Apple has, great, you pick an Apple. If you like Android's fanciness and the customization and the widgets or whatever the fuck they call it, then great, you go for Android. Whether you go Nokia or LG or... Is Sony Ericsson even a phone anymore? Or Samsung or whoever else it is that you want to go for. Why is it that Apple people are sheep but Android people are fine? Why is it that... Why? It's technology. It's all great. It's like I'm using a Canon right now, but someone it might be like, oh, no, uh, Nikon is better than Canon, or is it Nikon, that some people pronounce it. We call it Nikon here. But, oh, no, uh, my camera is so much more superior to yours. It's like, so, I like my camera. It does good for what I want it to do. And it was in my price range. And no point in me going out and buying a, I don't know, fucking 20,000 billion yeah. No point going out and buying a $5,000 camera when I can't afford it and then bitching that this person is like, oh, you got outdated stuff because I can't afford it. What's the point on that? Anyway, I'm going. I'm wrapping this up. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you prefer down below. Like, Android, Apple, uh, I'm thinking Blackberry's still a thing? I don't know. It's been a while since I've actually looked at different phones because I haven't had to. I probably will end up updating to the 10 next year at some point, maybe. Only reason being that my 6S is ticking on to almost three years now, I think. And the battery is running out really, really quickly compared to what it used to. I blame Pokemon on that one. Let me know what you prefer. The way I can get like a, a range of different opinions from other people, it would be good. Keep it, keep it friendly though, okay? Don't big on other people for liking what they like. I like Apple. It's done nothing wrong to me. It's, it's customer service is great. Samsung, on the other hand, customer service not too great. And now they're spam calling me because I won't do a fucking survey. Like, fuck off, guys. Anyway, thank you again for watching. If you haven't already and you would like to, please crash into that sub button wherever the hell it is on your page. Um, trip on the like button because it's always fun. Dislikes whatever you want to dislike, you dislike. That's all good. Anyway, thank you again, guys. Be good to people. Have a good night. See ya.